this video, we will look at open channels and how to integrate social networks and messenger applications within your site. So we will cover the following areas. How to create an open channel, how to edit the settings of the channel, and how you then receive the message. Firstly, you need to go to open channels under company. Then you need to create your open channel. In here, you have the option of which open channel you want to create, and then you can change the settings. Initially, we're going to look at Facebook, so I'm just going to click the Facebook icon. Then takes me to a list of all the possible open channels you can connect. If I just click on Facebook and then connect page, you then need to log into Facebook. So if you click login and then enter your username and password. So if I just put my login details in here, It should recognise that you have a business account linked to your Facebook page and it should give you the option to link that to. So if you just click connect page, that will then create the open channel. If we go back to the top, we can then amend the settings. So firstly, I'll just change the name. And as you can see, it will create a new lead. So this will happen if the details of the client who's messaged you are not found in your CRM system. You can also change the queuing settings, so who's responsible for answering queries generated via the open channel. You can have one person responsible for this, or you can have multiple. If you click add more, and then you can select the employees you want. You can also set automatic responses for if you're not available, and all of the text in here can be amended. You can also customize your open channel working times, so you can set your business hours and you can also change the time zone. You can also set an out of office response for here as well. Um, so this is what the client will receive if they message outside of the stated hours. Then you can set a greeting and closing message if you want, and that can be done in the send greeting and conversation closing boxes as shown. Now what we'll look at is how the message comes through both on your Facebook page and your CRM system. So if I tab across to Facebook, I'm going to send a message to our business page. So if I click message, and then just type a message. So you can see there it's sent. And we've got the automatic response. So if I go back to our CRM, you can see I've got a notification. And it's telling me that we've had a message. You can also see there that it's created a new lead. So if I just click on reply and send a message back, and then if I tab back across to Facebook, you can see we've got that reply on there as well. So now just gonna go back. If I close that and then save, What we're going to look at now is how to link up live chat. So this is done using a widget. So I'm just going to create a new open channel. And then if I scroll to the bottom, I'm just going to select live chat and then connect. So as I said, this is done via a widget. So if we just click on the settings, you need to copy the code in and add this to your site. So just copy that. And then I'm going to scroll across to our site and add that information. Adding this into the footer of our site and we're updating it via a WordPress site. So if I just click save, that should now be updated. So if I tab across to our website and just refresh, and then we'll see if we can test it out. So as you can see, in the bottom corner, I've got the option to chat. So if I go into that, I'm just going to send a message. Just type in there. So as you can see, we've got that automatic response. If I then tab back to our CRM system, you can see we've got the notification on there as well. So I can now reply. Send that back and then if we tab back across to see how that comes through you can see we've got the response on there as well 
stay out if I just go back to our CRM system. Just going to save that. You can also amend the settings just as we did on Facebook. So you can amend the name. And then you can amend the queuing settings, the automatic responses. Again, you can customise your working times too. You can change all the settings just as we did on Facebook. So if I click save. And then that's both open channels created. So we've got Facebook and we've got the live chat. Now these are not the only open channels available. You can also connect to things like Skype and Viber is coming soon. So that's the video finished and we've covered the following areas. How to create an open channel, how to edit the settings of the channel and how you then receive the message.